But the three persons possess the same whatness of being God of all flesh, right? Being God of all created things. So when he's acting in relation to that human nature, he is he is subordinate. No, he's not subordinate. He is relative to the relation between the Son, between the Father and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so. So, do, 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 I think he's got, he has a question for you. He has a question for you. Uh, like, like, respect him, no? Quality. Uh, so, yeah. if you accept for any, say, for any object A, A equals A, correct? Uh, yeah. Right, reflexivity. Now, if A equals B, then B equals A, right? Symmetry. Yeah, yeah. And if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Come, come, come. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to be on camera. I'll stay on okay, camera. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So if if I understand correct, I don't know what. I assume you're a Trinitarian Christian. Yeah, I don't I know, know exactly what sort of Trinitarian Christian. But my understanding of the Trinity is as follows: You have the Athanasian Creed, which says that uh, the Father is the Father is God, the Son is God, but by, so by a different Spirit predicate. Is yeah. God, but but what, the Father yeah. is not the Son, the yeah. Son is not the Spirit, and the Father is not the Spirit. Am I understanding correctly? Yeah, so we would the say, Trinity, so we we understand. Let him finish. Yeah, hold on, because he missed. Am I understanding? So I, I I don't hold correctly. to that exact position. So for example. The Father is God by identity, and the Son and Holy Spirit are God through is a predication. What? Yes, so we identify God as God the Father, because he our saying he derives the essence, right? So he's he's identified with God through identity. And then we have the Son and Holy Spirit who are God through the is of predication because they are begotten, inspirated, and they are described with the essence. So what you're essentially saying is that in, instead of having uh, the Father is literally God, the Son is literally God, you have, I'm going to use a form of phrase here, the Father is godly, the Son is godly, the Holy Spirit is Godly, but they're all different. So, so, ra so rather, we would say that the Father derives the essence, so he's God by identity, right? He's identified with Godhood, and then he eternally precedes the Son and Holy Spirit. So they are all God, but they're God by a different virtue. Yeah. Then what you're basically telling me is that you have two different definitions of God, one that you apply to the Father and the other that you apply to the so Son and you would Holy be, Spirit. You, you'd be God. God. Yeah, so no, you would have, no, hold on, hold on. So you, you can be God by different virtue, because again, a God is a plastic designator. So uh, you can be God by different virtue, through predication, through identity, through consubstantiality. Okay. But by God, I, I assume that God is some kind of semantical concept, right? So, if God is some kind of semantical concept, the idea is that it, just, it, it is either a name for a specific object, or it is a uh, attribute that you can say that an object has, and then you can talk about the set of all godly attributes. And what I understand is that from Muslims believe that that set has one uh, element, but Christians believe that it has both three and one, and it, if you no. interpret so, it in the classical so way, God, it leads yeah, to a so, contradiction, but yeah, if you on. take it as so, an attribute, then you have... So you're, you're, you're simply asking, is it like a synthetic truth about what God is? So, do you know what a classic designator is? No. So a classic designator is a word which could be defined in different ways. So, so you have two different so for definitions example, of God. Yeah, you, you have different so definitions. Yes. God has different definitions. Yes. For, for example, three, what, oh, three of on, them, and you on, believe the Father, on. the Son, and the Holy Spirit all are one God. Suraj. Suraj. I want God. Suraj. Suraj. Yes, one yes, God. So let me one God, but let me three of them have different let me description. Oh, let me okay. answer your question, okay. then I'm going to go back to why the three persons are God. Then we can go into Orthodox theology later. Are you an Orthodox? Yes. Ah, ah okay. But most Christians, I don't know that much about Orthodox So most theology Christians theology. would hold to the position that it's a classic designator. For example, you can be little G God. So God says to Moses, I will make you God of the Pharaoh. He asked So you'll be little G God. You, 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 you can be God through taking you part of his energies. No, later, later. Taking part of his energies. Just from me though. But the three persons of the Trinity are God because they possess the divine oneness. They possess the divine I find being honest, okay. as far as I can tell, there's really no way around 
this Taraj. reality, that if you yeah. find these things in the way that no, you I'm do, talking him. then talking you're not He's me monotheistic now. by definition. Look. Not that, it, not that I'm yeah. aware so, of so the way, you can believe it yeah, however many gods you like. I believe yeah, yeah. So, zero. So, so, yeah. so I, the way we define God as it pertains to the Trinity is possessing the divine essence. It wasn't Moses in the so look, in attributional sense. Okay. okay. Yes. Look, look. I don't have three. No. So okay. you have three subsistences, three okay. hypostases, look, look. which are God look, by. Let me make it easier for him. God. Okay. I'll make it easier for you. Now, I'll make it easier for him. Oh, yeah, go on, Shiraz. His I, God, look, his God know? is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the God of Jesus, the flesh, is not the Son and the Holy Spirit. Only what? the Father. Well, yeah. You, you so sort of is. That are you getting that point? Yeah. You sort of made that so yeah. now, so, yeah. are there different yeah. gods? So, so are there God, different yeah. gods or one God? Yeah. So, okay. Does Jesus, the yeah. flesh, have a so, father? Okay. Bro, bro. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, is I, Jesus the? Speak to you? Yes, I'm speaking to no, him. me. No. So so far, I'm speaking to him. So yeah. don't interrupt that conversation. Yeah. Okay. So, I, 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 yeah. I, I, so okay. talk to me afterwards. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Your questions. Even your questions are confusing. Okay. So okay. You understand? I'm answering. Okay. Is Jesus a divine person? You, you have a According to you, yes. Already. And did he my possess brother. two natures? Excuse me, my brother. According to you, yes. And are these natures in different relations? Excuse me, my Are they the same? No, are they in different relations, yes. Are they the same? Yeah, that's basically what I'm asking. The divine nature and the human, human yeah. nature. Yeah. According to their different natures. Yeah. So what do you believe in? So they're distinct, right? Distinct. What do you believe in? Great. Okay. So, all the, do these natures have predicates? Say again? Do these natures have so predicates? So you don't even believe in According humanity. to you. Okay. And this would then be acting in a different relation to the nature, correct? Are you getting my point where I'm coming from? Yeah, I'm getting to your okay. point. I'm, I'm, okay. I keep on answering this okay. question. Okay, okay, example. No, no. So, listen, very simple. Example, look, look, look. Do you know where I'm coming from? Yeah, I know you're you Why is from. my point? Tell me. Yeah, so you, you're saying because the first person of Christ yes. has a God. Yes. This would then follow that he has a different, let's just say, set of gods. To me, because I worship three gods. And you're positive. Je did Jesus worship three of them? Yeah, so he, did Jesus worship himself, the divine nature? Yeah, so he would worship. No, no, the no. Father, I'm asking. Yes. Did Jesus worship the Son, the divine nature, or the Father, or the Holy Spirit? Which so, one? So we Which would say one? we would say a more better phrase for what you're asking is communication. No, no. Jesus used the word answer, worship. Answer. Yeah. Use so, the word worship and yes. pray. Yes. So pray. So who did Jesus worship and pray? Yeah, he was. He was communicating with the Father. Okay, the Father. Yes. God, yes. Yes. Did he worship and communicate to the Holy Spirit? Uh, no. No. Okay. Okay. If these three are one God, why Jesus, did, Jesus the div, uh, the divine and uh, the human nature did not worship Jesus the divine nature and the Holy Spirit? Because, because these three are one. Yes, one God. Yes. If they are one God, why did Jesus worship only the Father, not the Son Himself, because not the Holy are, Spirit? The, these, are yeah. they not God? These two. Yeah. Are they God? Yes. Because are they God? These are the related. Hold on. This is the relations between the, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, as the Son is acting in human nature. These are just the relations between the two persons. Okay. Do you follow Jesus' way? Yes. Okay. If Jesus' way, what is the? Did Jesus and worship the Son Himself and the Holy Spirit? He accepted worship. No, no, you're not getting what I'm saying. Yeah. So what I'm saying. What did is, I ask you now? No, no. What did I ask yes. you? So do you follow Jesus? No, yes. no. Well, then what did I ask next? Yes. Next. And do you only worship the Father? No, right? no, I didn't say that. So what did you I say? said, did Jesus, if you follow Jesus, yes. who do you worship? The worship Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Because he teaches. Okay, wait, hold wait on, who on. do you yeah. from, from so, worship? So, no, just answer, yes, I know. I am you. answering your question. Okay. Okay. So, the person Jesus, in John chapter 20, verse 28, worship is being worshipped, and instead of rebuking him, he in fact encourages it. What did so I am saying I that the human, the person of Christ adopting a human nature. You know what did I ask as, you? Yes. What did so I you, ask you? No, you no. Worship? Hold on. Who do you worship? You answered that on. one. Yeah. Then who did Jesus worship? Okay. That's all I'm asking so, now. So name it. Who did yeah. Jesus worship? So did, who did, did Jesus worship? Be sensible. Now who did Jesus worship? The Father. The Father. Yes. And who do you worship? The Say Father, it. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So who is the way? Jesus or you? Jesus only worships okay. the Father and you worship yeah. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beautiful. So who is the way? So would it who make, is the way? Yeah. So would who it is make, the way? Yeah. Jesus or you? Oh, so like, okay. So clarifying question. Would it make logical sense to worship yourself? Would Allah worship himself? So are you saying Jesus did not worship himself? Yeah, because it's a distinct person. Okay, so Jesus... Bro, answer, okay. bro, bro, answer my question. Did you, is it logical? In let's just say in a classical theistic term, to worship yourself. 
The answer is no. Beautiful. But you said Beautiful. the God hold of on, Jesus, the on, flesh, hold is on, himself hold the divine on. nature. I let him ask clarifying questions. Yeah? I am simply arguing now okay. that it does not make logical sense okay. for Jesus to worship himself. So we have to appeal to in scripture whereby Jesus accepts worship. So the person of Christ is worshipped in John chapter 20, verse 28. Okay, did you worship the Holy Spirit? Uh, no. No. Okay, and who do you worship? The, uh, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. So Jesus here is the way according to Christians. Yes. But Jesus, the flesh, worshipped only and worships the Father, not the Son, and not the Holy Spirit. So not if Jesus is the way, and Christians worship three of them, but Jesus, the flesh, did not worship the Son and the Holy Spirit. And before now, by the way, for the sake of the argument, uh -huh. you said Jesus cannot worship himself. Yes. Correct? Yes. Is Jesus the flesh worshipping himself the flesh? No. Is he worshipping the flesh? No. no. So you said the flesh, Jesus the flesh, and Jesus the divine nature are two different natures. Yes. Did Jesus, is, does Jesus the flesh worship Jesus the divine nature? Yeah, so the, okay. No. Did Jesus yeah. worship the I'm divine nature? Because now you're falling into the Nestorian heresy. No, no. Did but Jesus bro, worship the divine nature? Brother, brother, don't interrupt me. Let me answer. So again, you're committing a category error. Natures do not do actions, persons do. And the one person of Christ possesses two natures. So you would not worship yourself, we've established this fact. And there is no distinction of the person of Christ, the human and divine. Rather, it is one person possessing two natures. So you would not worship yourself. You could accept worship, again establishing that a person, not a divine person, should worship the three persons. So Christ accepts worship, you would not worship yourself, so we would not appeal to whether Jesus worshipped himself, rather what he teaches in terms of who you should worship. You saying that he does not worship the Holy Spirit is the, uh, is the fallacy of silence. You're appealing to silence. We have scripture. We don't just appeal to the actions of Jesus in his ministry. We appeal to the Bible in the holistic sense. And we find in Acts, whereby it is said that lying is lying to God, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. You are supposed to worship God. And we don't just appeal to Jesus in his ministry. It's an appeal to silence to suggest that... Did Jesus ask you to himself. worship the Holy Spirit? No. Why do you worship him? Because in, in Acts 15... It Did says, Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? So, no. Okay, yeah. now again you said yeah. the Father yeah. and Jesus the divine nature and the Holy Spirit all are one God, yes? yes. And who only can be worshipped? The, the God. one being of God. God, yes? yes. Okay, did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? No. Did Jesus the flesh worship Jesus the divine nature? If Jesus the flesh... The nature still look, look. Yeah. No, you know what you make, you, yeah. why are you contradicting? Yeah. Because you're telling me Jesus is God, the divine nature. And the Holy Spirit is God, but Jesus, the God of Jesus the flesh, is not the Son, the divine nature, and is not the Holy so Spirit. Wait, wait, let me finish. Yeah, so and you saying Jesus the flesh did not worship Jesus the divine nature and he did not worship the Holy Spirit but the Father, God the Father. So this is so just now, a basic misunderstanding. So now, and Jesus did not, never ask you to worship him or he never asked you to worship the Holy Spirit. Yes, so who is the way now? Yeah, Christians, Muslims yeah. worship only the Father, yes. God. Christians, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. Jesus did the same. Moses did the same. So are you saying Christians are correct so and the I've prophets are wrong? Okay. Who is correct? Okay. The prophets? So first of all, there's an issue here. Because okay. you're making a basic misunderstanding of metaphysics. Tell me, okay, Hold by the way, I, 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 let me ask you. Into, you hey, said Jesus bro, accepted worship. Bro, show me where Jesus accepted John worship. 20, verse 28. No, I want you to show me where he said worship me. Yeah. Accepted, yeah? Wait, so this accepted. is not exact. Okay. Yes. So. And why do you think Jesus was worshipped? Tell me. So I've got two things. Two questions, yeah? So, yeah. So where Jesus was worshipped yeah. and why do you think and where he accepted to be worshipped? With references. And I will give you my references. Okay. Thomas, put your finger here and see my hand and put it over your hand and place it to my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said, You have Believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. That's point one. Don't okay. interrupt. Hold on. Okay, Suraj. what's the point? So right. Okay. You brought up several Explain points. this one, yeah? You, hold on. You have brought up several points. Okay. Do not interrupt. Now, point two. You have made a basic 
misunderstanding of metaphysics. Natures do not do actions, persons do. A person acts in accordance to your nature. Soul, you would not worship yourself. Stop distinguishing the person of Christ and his divinity and the person of Christ and his humanity because they're one in the same. That's point two. Point three, I have a question. Do we just appeal to Jesus' no, ministry? You didn't answer it. I, I didn't. My questions. Okay. Yeah, I'm answering your I question. ask you. I am answering your question. Do not interrupt. Three me. questions. Yes. What was my okay. question? Why did Jesus not pray to himself in the no, Holy Spirit? I hold on, hold on. Why did Jesus not pray to himself in the Holy no, Spirit? No, no, did you not ask answer that? No, that one I moved on. I ask you, yes. show me where Jesus was worshipped. I literally showed you And that. why do you think, where did he say he's there? Because it was just his resurrection, he appeared to No, him. where did he say that he was worshipped? Why do you think he was so worshipped? now we're equivocating. Why do you think he was worshipped and where did he bro. say he worshipped okay. me? So, beautiful. Do you have beautiful. any answer? Yes, I do have an answer, so stop okay. interrupting me. So, Give me a reference, yeah. please. John chapter 20, verse 28, I just read What does it say? He says, Thomas says to him, yes. my Lord and my God. Uh -huh. What did he respond to? Because I just read it to you. Okay. You have seen and believed. Okay. Blessed are to those who have not seen and believed. Okay. And what do you, did he see okay. Christ? Let me ask you. what did Christ do? Do, do you go with the context? Yes. Okay. Do you know why Jesus said, now you have believed? You have believed. Because he's risen from the dead. Thank you. But he's not saying... Now you worshipped me. Did. You believed that I'm God. He never said that. So the context, he Jesus, he said, so now he you doing? have believed me because Thomas, Thomas was doubting about the resurrection. But what did Thomas yes. say? What did Thomas, was Thomas say? doubted? What, what did Thomas say yes. when he saw the risen Christ? My Lord and my God. Because he saw the resurrection and he knew this confirmed his divinity. Why? What do you think? Was Jesus worshipped here? That's all yes. I'm asking. Yes. Where? My Lord and my God. Does that mean worship? Yes. Okay. So now, according to your logic, David is God who was worshipped. No. Ask me why. Yes. Wait. So, Samuel, yeah. Samuel and Lord David was worshipped according to you. Yes. Abraham worshipped as well. Abraham was worshipped. And wait, Esau yeah. was worshipped. Esau yeah. was worshipped. Do you know so why? Wait. Ask me why. Because yeah. they were called Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyone, according to your logic, yeah. if someone is called Lord, is worshipped, yes? yes? Beautiful. Is so, that what you say? No, no, let me respond. Okay, let me let repeat. Let me respond. Okay, what's Bro, your point? Relax. So Lord means authority over. And if you read the context of John chapter 20, verse 28. Yes. He holds his robe in yes. belief. He says, my Lord and my God. Uh -huh. This is a sign of worship. Now, sign of worship? Yes. Because he was called so Lord. So this Lord mean God. Lord, uh, lowercase L. Yeah. No, capital. Yeah, so lowercase L. No, lowercase L. Oh, so now you just don't know what that means. No, do you know why? No, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. What's the difference? L. Capital yeah. so L capital and lowercase. L, upper, capital L. And lowercase L. Yeah. What does that mean? Uppercase L translated in the Hebrew means Yahweh. But Yahweh is a classic designator. Okay, wait. So now Christians are playing two cards. Do you know yeah. why? Yeah. Because look, Genesis chapter 24, verse 54. Yeah. Abraham yeah. was called Lord. Yeah. Genesis Chap chapter Capta chapter L 32 or wait chapter 32 verse 4 Esau was called Lord David wait 1 Samuel chapter 25 verse 24 and 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 8 do you know and King Saul King was called Lord and David bowed for him down bowed down for him wait Genesis chapters 22 23 I mean verse 1 to seven, yes. Abraham bowed down for the people who supported him to bury his wife. So according to you, if someone bows down for you and calls you Lord, you are God and you are worshipped. Yes. So according, Christians are being biased. When others are called Lord and God, cap lowercase g and lowercase l. When Jesus is called Lord and God, it's capital G and capital L. Yes. Two cards. So now, yeah. two so cards. So now wait. Yeah, yeah. Satan was called God, but according to Christians, lowercase g. When it comes to Jesus, lowercase capital G. Guess what? Yeah. Until now, you haven't showed me where Jesus was worshipped. Okay, beautiful. And why was yeah, worshipped? So, why do you think yeah, so? Beautiful. Show me where beautiful, Jesus was worshipped. Shall I help you? I know the verse. Hold on, hold on. Relax. Shall I help you? Relax. Let me respond. So, what does, when we say in the Old Testament uppercase L, what does it translate into the Hebrew? That's the true God. But in Christians... Oh, oh, no, hold on, hold on. Don't interrupt me. Yes. So uppercase L in the Hebrew yes. means Yahweh. Yes. So it's the translations. 
Uh -huh. So uppercase L means Yahweh. But Jesus Lower is not for capital. L. Jesus is not capital according to Jews. Huh? According to Jews, yeah. Jesus is not a capital L well, and it's not capital G. Well, Do you know why? Ask brought, me why. Yeah. Ask me why. Because Jesus denied to be the God of Thomas. Oh. Ask me when. when. John chapter 20 verse 17. He said to his disciples, including Thomas, I'm going to my God and your God. So who's the God of Jesus and Thomas? Yeah. It's not Jesus, the so divine nature. It's all. not the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Who so, is that? The Father. Yeah. So this not the back. Son, not the yes. Holy Spirit. Okay, now, so. Jesus rejected to be worshipped. Ask me why. Christians use where Jesus, the disciples bowed down for Jesus. Yeah. Why? They said that's worship, an act of worship. Guess what? David, a lady bowed down for David. According to 1 Samuel, chapter 25, verse 24, a lady bowed down for David and she called him Lord. Bowing okay, down for so someone, is, is that worship wait, wait, according to... Wait, wait, I'm coming. No, no, now wait, wait, just no, I'm coming. I'm just now explaining. you have just completely just avoided it no. from the point. Yes, because I, just you answered. You didn't know I said lowercase. No. Okay. Happy? No. So what lower does that case. translate into? Lowercase. Because you understand... Jesus also is a lowercase. Well, Do you know why? Okay. Do you know why? why? Because Jesus told his disciples yeah, and Israel, yeah. Israelites, O oh Israel, yes. the Lord, our God, our, means what? Jesus included himself to have a God. And that God is who? The God of his disciples. Yeah. That's the true capital L. Jesus is a false God. Do you know why? why? Because Jesus was, when he was speaking to the Father, do you know what he said? So why is Jesus oh, called Father, you are the only true God. Wait. John chapter 17, yeah, yeah. verse 3. Now, so now is preaching. the Holy Spirit the true God? No. Preaching. Is the Father, Wait. the Son, the only uh, true God? Now the answer we're is no. Preaching. So Jesus let me respond. Hold on. was let bowed me down. Respond. He was worshipped. But Bro. others, they let bowed down for respond. others. They did not Bro. worship according to them. Bro, let me respond. So you said that Jesus was never referred to in uppercase L. So why is he called Adonai Yahweh? What? Why Jesus was never called oh, Ad Yahweh. Adonai Yahweh, yes. The name Yahweh you cannot find in the New Testament. Do you bet? Now you're dreaming, my friend. I'm not dreaming. Jesus never used the name Yahweh. So Never, yeah. never. Okay. So Forget now, about the translation. Yeah, no, never, no. never. Yeah, he was. He Jesus six. called the Father Yahweh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Wait, hold on. So the Father... The, no, the son rather. Did Jesus Lord, ever call the God Yahweh? You are keep on interrupting me. I, will, I'm waiting I allowed with you. you to preach. Okay, so I'm let me you. give me your arg my argument. Okay, I'm waiting. You. So what is Kilios Kili? Uh, no, uh, sorry, my my pardon. What does Adino Yahweh? What is it translated into in the Greek Septuagint? No, no. Jesus know? never used you, the name Yahweh. What? Ask are any you Christian. interrupting me? He, I am asking him a clarifying question. Then I'm going to give him the reference. So what is the translation? From the Hebrew texts, I don't know Yahweh, to the Greek subchildren. Yahweh has no meaning, according to you. Yeah. Does he have meaning? So, so. Does he have meaning? Yes. Yes? yes. What is the meaning of Yahweh? Yeah, so it's, it's what is the meaning title. of Yahweh? It's a divine title. No, what is the meaning? Yeah, it's a divine title. No, what is the meaning? That is the, that is the referential force. No, what is the meaning? Yeah. Even God, capital G, is yeah. a divine title. So, allow so me, what is the meaning bro, of Yahweh? No, bro, allow In me. Greek, Yahweh, what is the meaning of Yahweh? Yeah, so Greek, it's trans. I don't know Yahweh, it's translated from the Greek Septuagint to Kilio Kilia. Uh, so Yahweh bro, in Greek is another name now. Let me speak. <laughs> So the tetragrammaton of the Hebrew to the Greek Septuagint, do you know what that means? So do you know when a word is translated and it's having a meaning in another language, you take from the tetragrammaton. And the tetragrammaton to the Greek to the Hebrew is kilii kilii. Are you Kiliai, saying? Hold on. Forget hold about Kiliai on, Kiliai. He's I want Yahweh. Me. Okay, can you, you speak? See how he's okay, let him speak. Kilii kilii means I don't know Yahweh. Jesus reads from the Greek Septuagint in Luke, in Luke, uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 10. Okay, what's Kiliya Kiliya Yahweh in English? Okay, so Kiliya Kiliya Yahweh, what's that means, in English? It's the double vocative, <laughs> Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Yeah, so, so Lord, Yahweh Lord. is Lord, Lord. Anyone here, double listen? Vocative. Anyone listen? Yeah. The meaning of Yahweh according to a yeah. new the Christian scholar, yeah. Yahweh means I'll Lord, call a Lord. On that. I'll call a <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, so now what I'm asking. The historical look, Jesus page. Jesus is rejected to be worshipped. Do you know why? Right. John chapter 4, verse 21 to 22. Do you know what he said? Okay. We worship what we know. We, he included himself that 
him and his disciples, they all worship you know the Father, not the you Son, not the Holy Spirit. You know what that means? What's we, we what worship? Do you, do you know what, means? what does it mean? Ultimately, you should worship and practice your teachings in accordance to what you know. For example, the Catholics hold to this principle of invincible ignorance, yes. that Jesus judges you on what you know. So if you do not know of the Trinity, but you seek to worship a creator, for example, the Catholics are to the position that God meets you down on your level. This yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yes. Doesn't mean that. Jesus is talking about so you. Want he is refuting. No, so the context. You want God is John. Reference. God, John, no, please. We are going. No, God, God John. Because you keep on running away from the point. So we're going back to the point. Because you, your argument. Can you call hold on, bro, John? Bro, let me speak. You're not controlling this conversation. So your argument is contingent upon the fact that Jesus is not called the uppercase L, correct? Yes. Okay, so I'm going That's to Christians. Yeah. So I'm going to show you Christians the, the historical it. Jesus and the temple, page 60. Can you tell me who did Jesus and his bro, disciples worship? I am giving you a reference. In this verse, bro, John chapter 4, verse reference. 21 to 22. I am giving you a reference. Relax. Come Does that answer John chapter I'm 24, I'm chapter 4, so verse read, 21 to 22? We read, I'm going to give you the reference okay. now. Uh, I don't get access to this. Michael Patrick Barber's book on the historical Jesus and the temple, page Outside 60, the Bible. He's, he says that Jesus is not referred to as uppercase L, and he defines it as Adonai Yahweh, right? So I'm trying to find the book here. Give me a minute. Okay, so uh, now, hold on, hold on. in the meanwhile, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. we're not doing this in the meanwhile. No reference here, he's telling me about a scholar, he's a scholar. I'm loading it now. What's your DNA? What's your DNA? Show me proof that you're from Israel. Zionist, you're from for Europe. You're from Europe. Where are you from? Yeah, you're from Europe. Where are you from? Prove your DNA test Where, that you're you Jews. From? No, prove DNA, Where, then I'll talk DNA? to you. Where prove you your from? DNA that you're Jews. We know Jews, the real Jews. Wait, but if I prove The real it, Jews are kind. You're ah, not really? Jews. No, ah, you're not Jews. Not kind? Because the real Jews are not fighting. It's, the Zionists are forcing them to fight. Ah, really? Yes, we know that. that? They look, me. they're here, they're here. Do you know the ones who wear their hat? Ah. And the hair is here. Those ones, yeah. yeah the real Jews. Yes. And the DNA. Zionist, your, your DNA is false. It's European Zionist. Ah, really? Yeah, later, later, later. Later. <laughs> prove that your Jews are Israel yeah, no, by no, taking no, DNA no. test. Yeah, I'm trying to find... Uh, Brother, please, we're talking oh, um, about Christianity. You can take them there. Wait, could you find me a reference? What reference do you want to? The historical Jesus and the temple, page 60. Page 60, is that the Bible? Yeah, so... The New Testament. Yeah, hold on. So this... The, do you know what the Greek Septuagint is? I was asking him reference from the Bible, yeah, but you're not showing me. I'm giving you a scholar's commentary okay, on the okay, verse. Okay, one question I'm asking, then okay. before I go, yeah? Okay. Do you know John chapter 4, verse 21 to 22? Yes. Jesus said, we worship, he was uh, refuting the Samaritans, yeah? yeah? He said, you do not know what you worship. And he said, we know what we worship. He included himself and his disciples that they all worship the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit. He never said, so this verse, Jesus is telling us, anyone who worships him yep. or the Holy Spirit yep. or anyone else is a false worshiper. Yes. So you, Jesus sure denied to be about, worshipped. Are you sure you're not talking about Acts 17? No, I'm talking about John chapter 4 verse 21 to 22. He said we worship what we know. In this verse, yeah. where the disciples bow down for Jesus is not an act of okay. worship. So I'm it's an act an of respect. Yeah. Same as Saul King yeah. David did, Saul King yeah. 
to Saul King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, a lady now did. We're preaching. Abraham yeah. did. So now we're preaching. Are you getting now? Yeah. Also, Daniel. We're now preaching. Uh, yeah. You know, Daniel yeah. chapter 2, verse 46. Yeah. A people yeah. bowed down for Daniel in terms of honor. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's said, not an act of worship. Hold on, hold on. So you said Jesus is not referred to in the capital. Kulios, Kulios in the Greek. That's Lord, Lord, yes? Yes. The double that's not Yahweh. Hold on, hold on. The double vocative. Yes. And that is the Greek Septuagint translation. Who wrote of it? The, uh, so Jesus reads from the Greek Septuagint. The Greek Septuagint is the Greek Old Testament. Who wrote it? One of eight, uh, the, I think it's 80 of the finest Jewish scholars. Uh, do you rely on the Bible? Yeah, so the. Are you Eastern, sure? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay. So the Greek Septuagint translated by 80 of the finest Jewish scholars, which Jesus reads from in Luke chapter 4, verse 10. And he uses the double vocative, Kulios Kulios, which translates to in the Greek Septuagint, Adonai Yahweh. Now, I'm going to give a reference for the people watching. The Historical Jesus and the Temple by Michael Barber, page 60, he argues that Kulios Kulios is taken from the Tetragrammaton, meaning Adonai Yahweh. So, if we establish point one that Jesus reads from the Greek Septuagint, he is saying then, that he is Adonai Yahweh. Are you done? Yes. Okay, last one, yeah? Look, you said Jesus, the flesh, has a father, yes? So now we're is Jesus the Son of God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God? Yes. Can you separate them? Uh, no. No, yes? It's not composite. Okay, I cannot separate them, yes? So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I cannot separate them. All of them are one God. So, yes. is Jesus the flesh, Son of God? Yes. Son of who then? The son of the Father. Why not the Son of the Holy Spirit? Because these are the... You just said all are one God. Why are you distinguishing now? Because these are the distinctive hypostatic properties. So now you're distinguishing. Oh, you're interrupting. Okay. okay. Because what these... What, uh, the, the hypostatic properties are what make the three persons distinct. Being begotten, being unbegotten, and being spirated. These are the relations between the three persons and what distincts them. These are three distinct persons which are the one being of God. Now, if that's us finished for today, that's fine. Because we keep on going around in okay. the same circle. But I just want to say this. Jesus, Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, is called Adonai Yahweh. It's very simple. That's according to you. It doesn't matter. No. Anyways, you, you know what I was saying? Yeah, yeah. You were not getting my point. I, I was do. saying... If all of us, our God, yeah. is, is one God, yeah. the flesh, all flesh. Yeah. And you said Jesus, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh. But you told me Jesus, the divine nature, is not the God of Jesus, the flesh. But at the same time, you're telling me Jesus, is the divine, this Jesus, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh, except Jesus, the flesh. Correct? Yes, so Thank let me you. still man. So all hold means ex hold exceptional. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me still man. Okay. So you've been allowed to finalize the conversation. I'm going to wrap up the conversation. This one, yeah. And I'm going to still man what I said. So we have two natures with predicables. The predicate of being subordinate, uh, not subordinate, rather relative to Godhood. I keep saying subordinate, I really shouldn't. So being relative to Godhood is an experienced predicate for the human nature. And being God of all flesh is the whatness of the divine nature. These are experienced predicates in distinctive realities acting in relation to natures. So if this is us concluded, I'd like to wrap up on the recording and be done. Okay, so now he said to me, last one, yeah? I'll just repeat what you said. He said, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all are one God. No two gods, no three gods. And we cannot, we cannot distinguish them. But when I ask you, who is the God of Jesus, the, is, Jesus the, and the, is Jesus the Son of God? You said yes. And you said God is one. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all are one God. Since Jesus the flesh is the Son of God, Son of who? You said only the Father. That means the Son, the Divine Nature, and the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, are not God. Otherwise, 
the God, Jesus, the divine nature, yeah, and the Holy Spirit, these two yeah. should oh, also right. be right. the God right. and the Father of it's Jesus, right. but they are not. What did I say so triune God is finished. What did I say in response? These are hypostatic prophecies by persons. You're distinguishing them. You're now, telling me do not yeah. distinguish them. Make distinctions, not separations. Distinctions does not entail separation. What is the, mean of, what is the difference between distinction and separation? Yeah, so these are not separate people. Well, and distinction? distinctions of God. But it's the same meaning. No, distinction not. and... No, it's not. Distinctions does not entail separation. Distinguish. Now you we're said. getting on to a different conversation. So Distinguish, you said, or no. distinction? Distinctions does oh, not entail okay. separation. Okay. So I shake your hand. Okay. Let's end no the problem. So let me ask you one, no, one question. No, I'm going, yeah? I'm going. Oh. Okay. So now, do you believe Jesus practiced Judaism? Uh, yes. His time on earth, when yes. he was the flesh.